In this video, learn how to write a basic roof repair estimate for wind on a 30-year laminated shingle, including what to put in your F9 node and how to do a quick check for errors to keep this file from getting kicked back. Starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. Welcome to Adjuster TV, where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cat property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. I'm Matt and I like totals. As a property claims adjuster, you will definitely have times where you need to write up huge losses in Xactimate or Simbility, but most of the time you'll have smaller claims and one of the most common estimates you'll write are basic roof repairs. Now, assuming that you've determined that you have not exceeded the repair to replace threshold outlined in your estimating guidelines and that you're confident the roof is repairable, you'll need to write an estimate to repair the roof. So let's jump in and learn. And by the way, you can get a new Xactimate estimating video just like this every single month inside of your Adjuster TV Plus membership. Okay, for this first estimate, we're going to do a basic roof repair. And for this, unless you are specifically directed to, um, you may or may not be doing a sketch or diagram. Um, chances are you probably will, but in this case, we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna do it here on the roofing. So the very first thing that you wanna have in your, in your estimate, and this goes for every single one of the estimates that you ever write, at least for this class, um, is you're gonna click on attachments up here, and then you're gonna write in your note that tells whoever's reading this estimate, uh, primarily the homeowner and maybe the, and the contractor, what you're doing. Where is this? What is it that you're doing? Um, you want to have a, a very brief sentence that explains that. So if you say the following line items are to repair wind damaged shingles on the front and right slopes of the dwelling roof. Okay, super simple. Because you're doing your repair, unless again, unless you're instructed otherwise, you're not going to depreciate. So we don't include any kind of depreciation note saying that we're not going to ever depreciate. Uh, we don't need to go into big, long detail estimates. The estimates that you write for uh, you know the, for the homeowner for what they read is to tell them what you're going to do, not what you're not going to do. Right. So we want to try to keep it as simple and as easy to read as possible. So. Roof repairs are super simple. Mainly the items that you're going to have in there, um, primarily for shingles. And this is again for repairable roof. So we'll, we'll say it's a, a 30 year laminate RFG and we'll do um, 300E. Right. So that makes these line, this line item for by the each. Um, you can double check by clicking detail. Take a look at this. Um, shingles, roofing nails, roof cement, installation, labor, right? Labor costs to carefully remove and discard in a job site waste receptacle. Um, it doesn't include the job site waste receptacle. And this will tell you again more stuff that it is or isn't included in there, right? So we have, you know, say we figured out in our scope that we had 30 shingles, right? And it was, is it? Pretty, pretty new roof, so we don't have a, a repair difficulty factor to add to it. So we'll say 30 shingles, right? So we're just gonna keep this super simple. Um, you know, that's actually $33 a shingle. That's, that's prices have gone up. Um, that's a lot more than I think I've seen it in the past. You wanna make sure that you are coding the coverage to the building that this is on. If it's on the detached garage, you need to make sure all these say other structures. Um, and then you're not gonna even touch the de de depreciation, right? So this is your most basic roof repair for just shingles. It may be that you need to add in, they had some ridge cap that blew off, right? So you have RFG ridge cap, remove and replace. These are both remove and replace because the, the installer is gonna go up 
pull out the old one and stick in a new one, right? I'm not tearing the whole roof off and putting a whole new one on. And we'll get to why that's different when we talk about replacing the whole roof. You know, so maybe there's 13 feet of ridge cap, right? It's on the dwelling. And, uh, you know, then maybe the roof is steep, right? This is a little bit where it kind of gets to, to a little bit more of a gray area in that, you know, the adjusters are kind of um, left to their own devices to, to say what makes sense in this case. Um, but I would say if it's a 712 or greater, you know, a 712 to a 912 that I'm going to put in for 30 shingles, you know, there's 67 shingles in a square. So I'm probably just going to say, just to keep it super simple, steep, remove and replace. I'm going to say we got one shingle in there or one square of steep, right? So the extra, it's an extra charge to take into consideration the fact that it's a steeper roof and it may need a little bit of extra gear. And then to wrap that up, I'm going to say DMO pickup, right? That is my roof repair, my basic roof repair estimate that's going to cover most is basically basic roofing things. And this, again, this is for a uh, shingle repair. Always, and I'm going to say this often, um, going to resequence your line items, of course, um, but you're also always going to do a print preview to double check your work, right? So I'll scroll down here and I'll take a look at this and everything here looks pretty good. I, I don't want to see if I, if I don't have depreciation in my note, I don't want to see depreciation over here. Uh, I'll show you guys something super duper fast here that um, you'll, it's the kind of things you'll catch when you do a self file review. Like you may have like had an extra note in here saying, you know, um, no damage to um, copper gutters, right? Maybe you, this is from a, you got this grouping tree from somebody or you forgot to take this out or, you, or you, you're messing around and this got in here somehow, right? This house is, the house that for this claim doesn't even have gutters on it, let alone copper gutters, right? But if you're just sitting here working on this roofing part, you can't tell if there's a note in this or not. Most of the time. Yeah, see, it's not even gonna show. So it says there's a number of six line items under your roofing thing, but it says nothing under this gutter downspouts, right? You may even have in here, you know, detached garage, no damage to de detached garage or some, some note like that, that is, has nothing to do with this claim. This claim doesn't have a detached garage on it. But when you go down to documents, reports, and you click on print your print preview, and you scroll down through here, you're like, okay, this looks good. Wait, what's this? No damage to copper gutters. It's gonna show up in the estimate. If they don't have if they don't even have gutters, let alone copper gutters, the homeowner is gonna be awful confused about what this is. Right. This goes the same for labor minimums, which this one's not showing. It's also gonna show me, well, you know what? I scroll down here to the summary, the claim summary. I don't see a deductible on there. So I need to put the deductible in, right? So always be sure to do a self-file review. Always, 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 okay? It's, it keeps you out of a lot of trouble. I can't stress it enough that you must do a self-check of your work to make sure that your finished product looks clean, free of errors, and professional. This video is a free sneak peek of an ongoing series on Adjuster TV Plus. Sign up now to get full access to this series and all the other property adjuster trainings inside of Adjuster TV Plus. Adjuster TV Plus is the most comprehensive and affordable adjuster training in the world created by me and my industry partners to help you be a great adjuster so that you can serve our industry and make a great living doing it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. Our depreciation is recoverable.